Hello everybody, I'm a maths and physics tutor and today I wanna show you how to solve a classical physics problem. It's called three turtles problem. Imagine that you have three turtles sitting at the vertices of an equilateral triangle with a side length of a and all of them start moving with the same velocity of v. The first turtle always directs its motion to the second turtle the second turtle to the third turtle, and the third turtle to the first one again. So at the next moment, after each turtle moves at the same distance, it still directs its motion towards to the adjacent turtle. So our triangle rotates and decreases in dimensions, but it still remains the equilateral due to the symmetry of the situation. And it's clear that motion will end when all turtles come to the single point, and this point will be the center of our triangle. So the question is, what is the time the turtles takes to come to the center of the triangle? Now stop this video and try to answer this question by yourself. I have already said some important points of the solution. So the point is that all turtles are equivalent. For that reason, we can analyze just motion of the turtle on the upper corner of the triangle. This turtle should come to the center of the triangle. So let's connect upper vertex of the triangle with its center by line segment. The length of this segment is equal to a divided by the square root of 3. And it's also commonly known that each angle in equilateral triangle equals 60 degrees. So this angle is a half of a 60 degrees that equals 30 degrees. And this value remains the same during total's motion. As you can see, the velocity vector is always directed at the angle of 30 degrees to the hour segment. That means that the velocity vector component along the segment also remains the same during the turtle's motion. What is the value of this component? It equals v multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees that equals to the square root of 3 divided by 2. To find the time of the turtle's travel we should divide the length of the segment by the obtained value. And the answer would be 2a divided by 3v. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.